You want to talk plants? Mid-April, here at the Pacific Rim Institute, together with Erythronium oreganum, fawn lily, giant fawn lily, deer's tongue, Erythronium oreganum native range goes from southern British Columbia to northern California. Here in Washington, it's native to the western side of the Cascades, but extending east on Columbia River Gorge. Lilies have tepals, three sepals and three petals that look very much alike. They also have six stamens that surround the three divided stigma and ovary. When the flowers are fully mature, they're usually pendant with reflexed tepals to expose the stamens and the stigma for pollinators. After the flower is pollinated and fertilized, it will produce a capsule that is erect, upright, with numerous seeds that spread when rattled by the wind. You could collect some of these seeds and start your own patch of Erythronium oreganum. As they are so beautiful, Erythronium species are cultivated as ornamentals and easily hybridize. And they are relatively easy propagated from seed that you can pick later in summer, which can take a while. Some species also propagate through vegetative reproduction. They are spring ephemerals and then survive the rest of the summer, fall and winter as an underground storage stem, in this case, a quorm. Lilies have an underground storage stem called a quorm. They are deep-seated and they are full of starch. The quorm is apparently edible and pre-Columbian populations were eating them cooked or dried and occasionally ground into a flour as they are full of starch. What makes this particular Erythronium different than other species uh, here in the Pacific Northwest is first the blotches on their leaves that are white and maroon and it grows at lower elevations comparative to Erythronium montanum, which is the only other white Erythronium here in the Pacific Northwest, which grows, as the name says, at higher elevations. The name Erythronium comes from erythros, from Greek for red, and it refers to the only native species to Europe, which extends from Portugal to Ukraine, and its name is Erythronium dense canis. And it has pink purplish tepals. I was gonna call them petals. Dense canis means dog's tooth. I don't know why. Species of Erythronium are found in both Western and Eastern North America. In the Eastern North America, you might find Erythronium albidum or Erythronium americanum. The genus Erythronium can be found all around north temperate forests, meadows, and prairies, including Japan, Erythronium japonicum. If you have any piece of land, forest edge or prairie in the area that this Erythronium is native to, you might want to encourage one more native plant to cheer up your spring.